Hello. <clears throat> Here I bought two Rolson padlocks, key to lake, it's a laminated padlock with 50 millimeter lock body and the length of this is 118 millimeters, 24 across here, 67 from this point to this point of the shackle. Um, both are keyed alike, which means that when we put the key in, this opens. Use the same key. There we go. Now, brass core, four pins, and here we, I'm going to use this tension wrench to show you. This is shimmable. What a shame. It's got a double locking mechanism here on the pole. Two of them. There's the two cutouts. There is a locking pole on this side because if you, you can sometimes test it with locks if you turn this way slightly, push down and it's just catching and it's locked. See, that's locked. So we take the key, put the key in, and we'll lock. So this is definitely a genuine uh, notch that's used, like this one. So before we go any further, there's the key. Four pins. Now to pick this, I pick this long medium hook because if you see this third cut here, it's quite high. So when we're picking past these two pins, we need to get this past the first two pins and get this third pin picked without affecting pin one and two then we're clear to pick pin three and then go back down the stack should we need to uh, if some of the pins are springy so I decided not to use this tension tool because you, the keyway is not very very big so as soon as you put this, to, this tension tool in you're not left with much space to get your pick in and to pick the sheet. The tension wrench is affecting that, so forget that. So then I went for top of the keyway. Now instead of picking it from the top, as you would normally do like this, I have picked it once this way, but it's a little bit awkward and still the tension wrench is affecting the first pin and I know you get a false set on the first pin so I decided to turn the lock upside down so the pins are at the bottom and the top of the keyway tensioner I'm going to turn it around and just stick it in the bottom of the keyway which is at the top of the lock and hopefully that will give us plenty of space to get our pick in and to a little bit of movement on the cord straight away on the first pin two three oh my word, there you go oops open that was so quick so easy in fact I touched the fourth pin and it opened. Let's try that again, eh? Tension wrench in. Just get some good focus on that. And I'm going to pick downwards because the pins are down at the moment. There, there's, you see the pins? First pin, movement on the cord immediately. It's two, three, and I dropped the tension wrench. Just gonna do that again. Movement on the column one, two, three, and there we go. 
we have an open. That was so easy. So I wonder if it's that easy to pick. And there's, there's no, no, no security pins in this at all. Can we rake it? So I thought I'd switch to the snake rake on my jackknife. And we'll give that a go. So we're, we're locked. We'll try the same, put the tension wrench in the same way. And get him in there. I'm just going to try raking this. wrench is actually in the way because this is oh it was open did it I think the tension wrench was actually in the way there so I'm going to swap turn it around put the tension wrench at the top I'm going to use this snake rake I'm gonna go in oops, break the pins medium tension on the tension wrench and there you go open Two ways of opening, very simple, very simple to open, no, very disappointing actually, I was hoping this was going to give, I know it was only cheap for two locks, but I thought they was going to give me a little bit more resistance, so we single pin picked it with this, and we use a snake for a quick rake, and the lock was open. So, the Rolson 50mm shackle, laminated shackle padlock, not very good. I'd give this a 2 out of 10 security. I'm not even going to check whether the, the shackle is hardened because I very much doubt it anyway. So, there you go, 2 out of 10, Rolson 50mm padlocks, key to like and pretty much absolute rubbish. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.